Today I'm going to show you how to install Cisco Unified Communications Manager on VMware Workstation 11. The first thing we're going to need is the OVA template to be able to get the right settings in the VMware virtual machine. As you can see I'm at Cisco.com and looking at Unified Communications Manager version 10.5 and I'm going to look at the uh, virtual machine templates. In there we download the OVA file which will give us the correct settings that we need. I have already done that so I will show you how to install that on the VMware Workstation 11. First we will go to File and Open. Click on the OVA file and open. Choose the a name for your virtual machine. I'm going to make it CUCM 10.5.2 because that's the version that we will be installing and import. I already had one of that ver of that name, so I will go ahead and change the name to just 10.5 and import. Great, and now we are ready. As you can see, settings are already in place. Six uh, gigabytes of RAM, two processors, a hard disk of 110 gigabytes, uh, and we are all set to begin the installation. To start installing, you need to take a look at the virtual machine settings and look at the CD DVD drive. Now what we're trying to do <coughs> is make the virtual machine think that the uh, ISO for the uh, install of the Unified Communications Manager is the DVD drive. So we put it into the use ISO image there and I've already set that up for the 10.5.2 version and we need to make sure that the checkbox for connected at power on is checked. Once that is set we can go ahead and power on the virtual machine and it will start loading ISO Linux, this is the bootable version of the ISO, so it should go ahead and boot into the install uh, setup. There we go. So we'll go ahead and skip the media test at this time. So it's detecting the server hardware. It found that it's a VM, VMware server. It passed the detection validation. And now we choose what we're going to install. At this time, we will begin with the Unified Communications Manager. you want to proceed with this install? Yes. We 
We do not want to uh, apply an upgrade patch as part of this install, so no. Go with basic installation. Choose our time zone, which for me is the mountain time zone. speed that's correct we do not want to change the MTU size at this time we do not want to use DHCP and we're going to go ahead and put the host name I'll make it CUCM pub we'll put IP address that we want to put there. And I'm going to put the gateway as the Windows 7 machine that this is on. Uh, no, I'm going to make it my home my home router. <clears throat> At this time, we're only going to use IP addressing, so we do not need to enable the DNS. Okay, we want to install, uh, use admin as our administrator ID. This is for the operating system, uh, the OS admin. Is this the first node in the cluster? Yes, it is. NTP server. Now we have to have an NTP server or the installation will not let us move forward. So at this time I have set up my Windows 7 machine as an NTP server, so I'm going to enter that IP address. the security password for the cluster. It needs to have the same password for any additional node that you will put on. No for the SMTP. I'm not going to enable call home on this. The application username. This is separate from the administrator ID in that this is for the actual application, the GUI application, um, but I will at this time set it as the same as the administrator ID. Our configuration is complete. It's going to go ahead with the installation now. Okay, 
as you can see the installation has completed we should be able to log in with the username and password that we set before and there's our login and if we go to the web page our IP address that we set during the installation we come to the user page, the the main GUI web page of our uh, call manager, and we will be able to log in here. Okay. As you can see, we're running on demo licenses. This is just a, uh, uh, a personal lab environment. Uh, there is no backup configured. I just installed it, so we are uh, we're looking good. So that concludes the installation of Cisco Unified Communications Manager 10.5.2. And if you like this video, go ahead and uh, thumbs up and we'll try to make some more videos for you. Thanks.